Drinking alcohol has been a part of human culture for thousands of years. And while there's nothing wrong with the occasional cocktail or beer out with friends, excessive drinking can take a real toll on your health. In fact, it might affect some parts of your body that you least expect. You see, besides the long-lasting damage it does to their liver, heart, and brain, alcohol can drastically affect your sexual biochemistry. And we're not just talking about erectile dysfunction or low sex drive. We're talking about testicular atrophy. Excessive and frequent alcohol consumption wreaks havoc on the tissues and cells of the testicles, causing them to shrink and wither. This is typically coupled with a serious decrease in testosterone production, sometimes to the point of causing infertility. To make matters worse, this atrophy is often accompanied by a reduction in muscle mass, weight gain, reduced hair growth, and signs of premature aging. There's simply no way around it. Alcohol is a potent testicular toxin. Luckily, there is hope. Even if you have years of problem drinking under your belt, recent research has revealed that many of the conditions associated with alcohol-induced testicular atrophy can be reversed. In one controlled study, former hard drinkers who quit using saw an immediate recovery in their gonad size and hormone levels. As more time passed, their testosterone and testicular function continued to normalize. But there are limits to this recovery. Indeed, a study performed on rats who were given large amounts of alcohol showed that decreased sperm counts and shrunken testicles continued for long after cessation. And while blood and oxygen flow to the area did increase, the short lifespan of the subjects made it impossible to see how much they would regenerate. Unfortunately, this seems to indicate that there are points where alcohol-related testicular damage simply can't be undone. But what if you're not a problem drinker? Well, you can still enjoy the occasional night out at the bar without putting your testicles at risk. You just need to follow certain rules. The first is understanding what constitutes heavy drinking. According to professionals, this is anyone who imbibes more than 15 drinks a week. Indeed, two drinks a day for men and one drink a day for women are considered the gold standard for healthy drinking, meaning these levels are unlikely to produce any serious health effects. This includes sexual health, as a study from 2017 found that moderate drinking had little to no direct impact on sperm morphology or semen volume. Another study, this time including over 8,000 men, found that moderate drinkers had no signs of testicular atrophy at all. Put simply, you can still drink, but you need to know how to remain in control. This can be tough for some men, especially those of us who grew up in a binge-drinking environment that treats consuming alcohol like a competitive sport. Just like all those posters back in college told us, this is a dangerous mentality. In fact, some men still drink faster than they should decades after that peer pressure has faded. Luckily, there's a strategy to fix that. Next time you're in a drinking situation, try consuming your alcohol in a way that gives your body more time to process the ethanol out of your system. Start with two drinks the first hour, then follow that up with no more than one drink per hour afterwards. No shots, no doubles. Just one glass of wine, pint of beer, or 1.5 ounce of spirits, with plenty of water in between to keep yourself hydrated. The goal here is to keep your blood alcohol level between 0.4 and 0.6. This will ensure you have a good time, remember the entire night, and don't feel like absolute trash the following morning. In short, it forces you to drink in the healthiest way possible. Healthy for your brain, healthy for your liver. And most importantly, healthy for your testicles. For more tips on boosting testicle size and function naturally, download my free ebook at the URL below. Thanks!